What's up everyone, it's Demolition Derby for Life. I am back here at the shop and I'm gonna do an aftermath on the Deadpool car. Um, but before I get to the aftermath on the car, um, at the fair, I went out there for best decorated and I didn't get it. Um, I have learned my lesson don't go to fairs where it's pretty much just families that go there and that's how people get best decorated at different fairs usually. But it kind of sucks that I didn't get it, but I am happy for the person that did get it. They did a really good job on their car, but the other two that got second and third best decorated, they the cars completely sucked. I'm sure they put time into it, but <laughs> oh well, shit happens. But... Here's the aftermath of the car. Um, I'm gonna start from here, work my way around. Uh, for the front of the car, uh, the passenger side frame completely fucking bent. Um, uh, just completely kinked over and and it, it's just shot. I'm gonna see if I can pull it out and then patch it up, weld it back together. I'm gonna try to at least. Um, I mean, it kinked over pretty freaking good. This whole freaking uh, hump section, it bent right there and it kinked all the way over towards the tire. It's not hitting the tire yet, but it's pretty close. Um, this side's actually pretty straight for, for it. Uh, it did kink over just a little bit. And what essentially took me out is this frame kinked over enough that it's hitting this pulley and it's jammed up against my power steering so this pulley is what took me out it would not allow the motor to turn because the belt was still on it and this pulley was seized and the battery didn't have enough power to turn it over so that's what essentially took me out um, I can start the car up right now but I'll, I'm gonna do it after I get this pulley off because I don't want to wreck anything but essentially that's what took me out is this pulley jammed up against my power steering box and seized my motor up and it wouldn't turn over. I, it would click, that's about it, but it wouldn't go. Um, this car does have one more run in it. Uh, I don't care how far I get this frame pulled back out. I am going to try to get one more run off of it. I mean, you can see... This side just completely caved in. I should have, I didn't know I could weld a little bit on the fenders. I would have done that and that would have prevented that from happening. I uh, just kind of sucks a little bit. I was very underbuilt going into that class. Uh, bumper actually held up really good. Uh, it did crush in here. It is starting to tear here, I can see. Well, it did crush in. I might try to do something about that. I might, I might just leave this bumper on and go back out there and have some fun. But realistically, that's. Uh, I mean, what I might do is I'm going to see if I can jam a piece of tubing inside there and then weld it in there to give me a little bit of extra, like, strength to this car. But Ah, this frame, just right down in there is where it bent. And that whole top of the frame section kinked open. I think the bottom did too. Like where the seam welds are. I should have welded that. That thing tore right open. Uh, motor still runs good. I'm, if I don't run, if I don't get this car pulled back together, I will be pulling this motor. This is a good, solid motor. This ran phenomenally out there. I was so impressed with it. I was, I was flying down the freaking track. I was having so much fun with this. Um, passenger side has pretty much took the blunt force of it. I mean, as you can see here, that happened because of the frame section. I actually did that myself when I made that when I made a full track shot with the front end of this car. The car just turned just a little bit and then I didn't get a square shot on them. So that's what kind of essentially took me out too. 
Uh, couple hits on the passenger doors. I did, I was out when this happened. The guy, like, completely blindsided me. I think he was kind of pissed because he thought it hit him in the driver's door. And I, in the video, you'll see it's a clean shot. I hit him right in the front corner of the fender. I did hit him there. I didn't hit him in the driver's door. Um, I did talk to him afterwards. I was like, I just wanted to make sure you understood that I didn't hit you on purpose. If I did hit him in the driver's door, which I clearly didn't. But, yeah, the back end of this car, I have no words for it. It came in great. The only downside of this is the trunk didn't come in with it. I should have tucked it a little bit more. I should have folded it underneath and not down. Um, it didn't roll in how I wanted it to. But the frame section came up perfect. Came in. Both of them are coming in. Um, I accidentally, before the derby... Like I was, uh, the car died, and I was moving it with one of the skid steers, and I bent the frame section down. Uh, but I did my, a little work to it, and I think it kind of helped. It, uh, I mean, I bent the down the best I could, and then I kind of uh, took some nine wire and I wired it up to the body so that way it would fold in. And I think I actually lost that piece of frame. Like, I don't know where it went. <laughs> it must have uh, fell off. I, I lost my back bumper within the first 30 seconds of hitting. There was nothing to it, and it fell off pretty freaking quick. I think it tore off with the, my frame section tore off with the uh, back bumper. Or that piece was bent. But this uh, piece of the frame section came in good. I will be be I will beat this down. And then I will do a little bit more body work to it. But I got to see if I can get that fr frame section pulled out first. Um, but I will beat this down inside. Um, I actually beat the, like last night I took a sledge and I beat this for wheel clearance. Um, it was, it was rubbing a little bit, but I got it, uh, got it pushed in far enough that it wasn't rubbing. So I didn't accidentally pop a tire putting the car on the trailer but realistically this thing is still in really good shape I mean besides that front corner that's this car is still straight really good um cage is holding up really good I didn't do too much to the cage it seems to be working out all right um, we'll probably start working on it within the week or two. I do have this next coming weekend. I do have, uh, 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 Derby at Carver County Fair. Uh, also, if I remember, last night I looked and I actually broke one of my, uh, or one of my pieces of uh, what like metal that was holding up my frame section that popped off. But I do have that square tubing that's in there, and that still kept my frame up high. So I still had solid suspension going out there. I didn't see this side if it broke or not. I don't think it did. I can't really tell with the tire in the way. But if you guys saw in the video, or if you just saw that, should be good yet. Hopefully, I didn't, I didn't check this side. I couldn't really actually check this side. That piece of metal is gone. Square tubing, I think, is gone too. I don't know. I'll pull it out. I'll pull the tire off and check it out. But, yeah. There you can kind of see what the frame section looks like. That thing is twisted. Very much twisted. I'll try to pull her out straight and see how it goes. Realistically, this won't be a front front wheel dr or won't be a four wheel driving car. It's going to be ascend pretty much the whole time. What's left of it? 
but I am going to try to get one more run out of this just uh, just for the heck of it but yeah there you go guys there's the aftermath of the Deadpool car from Litchfield there was a it was a very big turnout there were 17 cars out there and I think I might have gotten 10th 10th or 9th or 10th I can't remember I didn't ask I didn't really bother to find out but I think I I mean for driving like a maniac out there the whole time I did pretty freaking good but yeah a lo lot of work to do to this car and we'll see if we can get another run out of her we'll just I'll be pulling all these chains off except for those just to kind of hold the trunk lid down I'm gonna maybe do something like I'll see if I can wrap a chain around there or something to keep it held in so when it packs in it packs in <laughs> but there you go guys there you go guys there's the aftermath of the Deadpool car uh, I hope you guys like it uh, it's kind of been a long day or not a long day today I've been pretty much lounging around all day just kind of relaxing and getting my bearings back because that was a rough ride I will admit that that was a very rough ride but again guys thank you guys for watching my videos i really appreciate it uh don't forget to hit the like button or the subscribe button i love you guys and we'll catch you guys later all right guys uh this is going to be that um i already know i did my goodbyes and everything but this is going to be the startup of this car i removed the uh, the power steering pump, I removed that off. That's what was locking up the motor. I also kind of straightened out the hood a little bit. Just a little. But, here you go guys. I can turn the key. Come on. Still purrs like a kitten. I do have to remove the fan in there yet. Um, that's not working so good. I'm, I'm all, and then I'm gonna put a smaller fan on it for better, uh, like a small plastic fan, so it just gets uh, eaten up if it comes in like that again. But that fan is jammed in there, so it's not spinning. So I'm just gonna pull that out, and I'm gonna pull all this shit off so I can see what I'm doing but yeah there you go guys there's a startup so it still purrs like a kitten this is a really strong running motor so you'll be seeing this car again hopefully very soon see you guys bye